Microsoft Excel 2013 Conditional Formatting Conditional formatting does just what its name implies. First you set a certain criteria for a data range, example values greater than a thousand. Then you define the formatting characteristics, let's say bold with red text. Once you have set the condition in formatting, Excel finds the values matching the criteria and applies the appropriate formatting. The first step to applying conditional formatting to a spreadsheet is to select the range of cells you wish to format. And in this example, I want to format column H. So I'm going to click in cell H2, use my control shift and down arrow to get me to the end of the data range within column H. So notice the icon located at the bottom of the selected cells. This is called the Quick Analysis Tool. The Quick Analysis Tool provides users with a quick and easy way to analyze your data using such tools as charts, color coding, and formulas. Clicking on the icon will display a couple of conditional formatting options. And hovering over these options, such as data bars or color scales, will show you a live preview of what your data will look like if you were to select from one of these options. Other options for applying conditional formatting are found under the Home tab, the Styles group, and Conditional Formatting drop-down. From here you'll see a list of pre-built conditioner rules, as well as new rules that you can create from scratch, clearing rules, and managing rules. So what I'd like to do is go through some of these pre-built rules and show you what's available. Let's start with the Highlight Cell Rules. So notice the menu that expands off to the right. So we're looking at numbers here. Are we looking for something greater than, or less than, or between? Or maybe it even equals a certain value. If we're working with text, this would work out well. And if we're working with dates, this would be a great option as well. So in this example, I think what I want to do is I want to look for duplicate values. I'm going to go ahead and click on Duplicate Values. And you'll see a dialog box display with the duplicate values. And notice the shading is light red with dark red text. That's the default. You can click on the drop down and you can choose different shading options. As well as going into custom format, which will open up a dialog box allowing you to shade it any color you want, affecting the font or the borders of those particular cells meeting that condition. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel and show you a few more options. Clicking on the Conditional Formatting drop-down, let's look at top and bottom rules. Since we're working with numbers here, do you want to look at the top 10, top 10%, top 20%, bottom or bottom 10% or more, or what about the above average? So let's find the above average cells in this range. Again, you'll notice they're highlighted, and they're using the default light red fill with dark red text. I'm going to go ahead and hit Cancel again. Data bars. Now, data bars is sort of like a graphic way to illustrate the difference between the values within this column. Data bars gives you a more graphical representation of the values in this column. Now, watch as I hover over these little icons. You can see a live preview of what it will look like if I was to choose one of these. Same is true with the color scales. And then we also have icon sets. So there is a large variety of options that are already pre-built from Microsoft. Or again, you can create a new rule, which we'll do in a later session. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab a top or bottom rule, and I'm going to go with above average. I'll accept this, and now I have conditional formatting applied to these particular cells. If for any reason I need to remove the conditional formatting, I can go under the conditional formatting drop-down, go to clear rules, and I can clear rules from the selected cells or from the entire spreadsheet. And that is using conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel 2013.